If you work in social media, you're going to be working off your mobile. Today, I'm going to introduce you to 16 mobile apps that you should be using if you are working on social media. These will really help your social media game. Hey, it's Philip here, the Curly Marketer. You're very welcome to today's Curly Marketer tip. And I wanted to share with you 16 mobile apps that I use myself to really help me with my social media on a day-to-day -day basis, both for myself personally and for my clients. And they are arranging from mobile apps that help my productivity to idea generation to creation, etc. Obviously, I'm not including the social media apps themselves like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. They are a given if you work on social media, they should be on your mobile. But some of these apps, you probably have heard of them before, and some of them maybe you haven't heard. But I think definitely these are 16 apps that you haven't, if you haven't got them on your mobile and you're working on social media, definitely you should check them out. Now, the first app I wanted to introduce you to is Trello. Um, Trello is both on mobile uh, as an app and obviously on desktop. But what's wonderful about Trello is, and I use this myself, and this is an idea for, your, for you if you are creating content, either for your clients or for yourself, is I create multiple boards within Trello, and I put down all of my ideas from the videos I wanna make, uh, the scripting, the keywords, etc. And that's the wonderful thing about Trello is it allows you to essentially brain dump um, into this particular um, app uh, as well as desktop, all of your ideas, your keywords, and um, your thoughts uh, that can then be centrally accessed, uh, um, accessed if you also have team members. So Trello, check it out. It is free and it is a wonderful kind of um, tool that I use every day uh, from an idea capture point of view. The next one is Evernote. Um, Evernote, I'm sure you've heard of this. Now, how I use Evernote is if I find um, articles, on social media across a range of uh, topics that I'm very much interested in. I will capture those either on my mobile or on the desktop um, and place them into a Trello notebook. So if I find something interesting in relation to Instagram or maybe it's social media video, I will capture that particular article uh, or that particular piece of content into a relevant notebook. So it means that on my mobile, I can go back into Evernote and read that article again, learn, educate, and it might even inspire uh, me for a new piece of content. So that's Evernote. And once again, uh, there is a free plan that is more than adequate um, based on my own experience. The next one I wanted to introduce you to was Feedly. And once again, you know, you can sign up through the desktop, uh, but I use it from the mobile all the time. And what Feedly is, it's a, it's a content curation tool. Essentially, you can subscribe to a number of RSS feeds. Uh, for example, one of my favorite social media RSS feeds is Social Media Examiner, probably the best social media blog on the internet. And essentially within Feedly, it will uh, aggregate and essentially file all of the articles that Social Media uh, Examiner publishes and I can go in and read those. And once again, anything that I find that's of interest, I can save them into Evernote. So between those three um, apps already, Trello, you know, Feedly, Evernote, you know, it allows me to start to content curate, to read, to keep up to speed on what's going on on social media. And especially if you're working in social media, that is so important. Now, obviously from the creative point, especially with this video, which is, you're going to be watching on YouTube and um, once again the power to be able to see what's going on with your videos from your mobile is critical so definitely I'll be recommending that you download the YT or the YouTube studio app because essentially you can go in and see for any of your videos the analytics how are they performing and you can even make changes you know kind of change maybe a, a thumbnail the headline and um, some of the copy to try and improve the rankings of that video. So definitely, you know, if you are want to be active on YouTube, I think getting the YouTube or the YT Studio app is a real must because it will allow you at your fingertips to get a real sense of what's going on with your videos and allow you to improve them. The next app, once again, this is can be signed up via the desktop. I obviously have the mobile app is Tube Buddy, and this is the companion definitely for YouTube because TubeBuddy really allows you to actually start to 
drill down into your videos from keyword generation, generating tags, and starting to see overall performance. And then when you combine this with what you can access with the, the keyword explorer tool on the desktop, TubeBuddy really is a, is a must, um, must app and it's a must tool to have if you really want to up your YouTube game. So definitely TubeBuddy and the YouTube Studio, if you want to be on YouTube, have those on your mobile. This one I wanted to talk to you about is the physical creative tool designing. Now I use Canva and most people will use it from the desktop, but I also use it from the mobile. Canva has a wonderful mobile design tool that you may not be aware of. And any kind of uh, pieces that you design on your desktop are automatically there on the mobile version for you either to tweak or maybe to finish if you started something on the desktop and you needed to complete it on your mobile. This also has the real benefits that you can start to design social media images or YouTube thumbnails right from your mobile. So you don't even have to be at your desktop. You can do it all straight from the mobile. And I suppose the next app, which is related to Canva, is Canva Stories. You know, once again, if you are interested in doing stories on Instagram or even Facebook, Canva Stories, once again, is a really good app, you know, and especially if you have the Pro Canva uh, subscription, which I would recommend, um, definitely you have a whole host of templates that make it so easy for you right from your mobile to create some very creative stories. So definitely check out both Canva for mobile and Canva Story. Obviously, when we're talking about creativity and particularly in the whole area of imagery, um, there's two apps that I would recommend that you explore and you get. Now, the first one obviously is Unsplash. And once again, Unsplash is a really incredible royalty-free image site that a lot of people access via desktop, but you may not know that they also have a mobile app. So once again, you can find some quite beautiful images, very unusual images, not your standard stock run of the mill type image, really unusual images that you can get right from your mobile with the Unsplash app and bring those into Canva for your designs. And then if you want to tweak the, the lighting, the definition, the contrast, another app I would recommend you get is Snapseed. This really is remarkable. It's 100% free and it allows you to do some incredible things with your imagery uh, that will take an image that may look okay to something very, very dramatic. So Snapseed and Unsplash, get those if imagery is really your thing from a creativity point of view. The next thing uh, app that I wanted to introduce you to, and once again, this is a companion to the desktop site, is Headliner. And you may have seen me talk about Headliner. Um, this is a video here. Uh, where I show you how to use Headliner, but essentially Headliner is creating audiograms. So if you're into podcasts or you like to create a content that is audio based, um, an audiogram will actually allow you to take a snippet from your podcast. Let's just say you want to promote the first minute or two minutes of your podcast and Headliner will actually create an animated wave line video that allows you to showcase maybe a minute and a half, two minutes, or even the whole show if you want to promote your podcast. And the Headliner app allows you to do this even from your mobile. And it will also allow you to create something on the desktop and then send it to your mobile if you want to then continue on um, your audiogram creation right from your hand. So definitely check out the Headliner app, a really well worth audiogram generating tool. Next one is another creative app that you may not have come across. And once again, I have a video here that uh, shows you how to use this and it's called Pixel Loop. And once again, a lot of people haven't heard of this, but uh, it is by a company called uh, Enlight. They've got some tremendous apps, but Pixel Loop in particular is very, very clever. And how it works is that, let's just say for example, there's a, you have a picture of a waterfall, but it's a static waterfall. Well, with Pixel Loop, you can actually animated as such that everything else in the shot is static, but you can make the waterfall or the, the, the water scene actually move, animate. So you can use this app for some really kind of clever um, creativity that you may want to be able to share right across your social channels. And once again, the great thing is Pixel Loop is free. So definitely check it out. The next one is a tool called Word Swag. And once again, if you are looking to create um, imagery that has 
unusual text or uses unusual fonts or different positions or you want to just create something a little bit different then check out word swag now it is a paid tool but it has allowed me to create images where rather than just using the standard boring fonts so you're trying to scroll through to find something word swag has so many different templates so many different formats and you could actually take a relatively kind of interesting image and really elevate it with some really interesting caption text on it using the word swag tool so that's definitely another app in your creative bag on the mobile that you should be reviewing next one is once again we're talking about the mobile here uh, let's just say you wanted to, you've created a video in your mobile and you want it right from your mobile to create maybe a funky intro well there's a great app called intro aid which will allow you with some pre-made templates to potentially create a really cool intro for your video or for your business right from your mobile um, so definitely check out intro aid obviously you know from a video editing perspective uh, if you didn't see it this video here i talk about vlo now i recommend that you buy this outright it's only about 10 or 12 euro or 10 to 12 dollars but really i think it's probably one of the best if not the best video editor app for both iOS and Android. So much you can do. And using some of those other apps that I spoke to you about, you really have a whole host of tools right from your mobile. So you literally have a full working studio from the palm of your hand to create something so impactful and get it out to your audience. Obviously, from videoing, as in using your mobile to video, um, the one app I would recommend, it is expensive to a certain extent. It's about 15 euro, between 15 and 20 euro. But it is, I feel, the most powerful um, film video app um, on the phone, and it's Filmic Pro. This is kind of bringing nearly DLSR um, quality uh, functionality to your mobile. And you suddenly see when you look at the quality of your video compared uh, on Filmic Pro compared with maybe your standard video uh, camera that is on the phone, uh, there is no comparison. So definitely check out Filmic Pro if you're serious about doing more video using your mobile. Last apps for you that I want to share that I use myself personally, I use all these apps that I've talked to you today about, but these last two in particular as well are ones that you know you may not have come across and they have been invaluable to me. Everybody has heard of Weed Transfer. It's a fantastic way, you know, you have free up to two gigabytes to be able to transfer uh, large files to clients, to colleagues, etc. Now, I use Weed Transfer as well when I say make a video on my phone and I want to send it uh, to my desktop so I can work on my desktop video editor. Now, I Weed Transfer it, but Weed Transfer have a companion app um, on the phone called Collect for Weed Transfer. So that when I get a Weed Transfer via my mobile in my Gmail, I'm able to click on that and download it, and it's brought into the Collect app, where I'm able to then save it directly into my uh, photos and work on it from there. So it's definitely something well worth that if you want to be able to um, get files easily on your phone and then bring them in for further editing, either on your phone or the transfer them onto your desktop, have a look at the, uh, the Collect app for Weed Transfer. And the final app for you today is Sendable. And what is Sendable? Well, there's a whole host of really fantastic um, social media scheduling tools from Buffer and SmarterQ and Agora Pulse and Hootsuite, etc., etc. But having tried them all, um, I'm really impressed with Sendable. Uh, now, Sendable, yes, you do a lot on the desktop, but the mobile um, option is also very intuitive and a very, very um, well worth you looking at so that check out sendable of all of the price plans um, I believe it's probably the cheapest you can have up to 12 profiles which wish to share your social media content to and I think only works out about 25 or 26 euro a month and um, plus with some really robust analytics and also being able to send um, Instagram video and schedule Instagram video to your Instagram channels and the Sendable app is really responsive and works very well with the desktop version. So there's 16 apps that I use myself that help me with my day-to-day -day social media management, my social media creation. Um, I hopefully you find 
these useful do check them out i think you will be surprised that when you combine all of these together you literally have then in the palm of your hand on your mobile a full working social media content creation curation and analytics studio so as always if you want to find out more about me you can visit the website thecurlymarketer.com and of course i will be back very soon with some more curly marketer tips and until then take care